Oh my god, I'm dying. <coughs> hey guys, so I've already done my base as we can tell. I said that in every video, so I'll move on. So I'm just going to do an eye look today. I know I said I would do a full face look in my last video, like soon. I just, I don't know, today I just didn't really feel like filming a base look, so I'll do it in my next video, probably like an everyday kind of all together makeup look. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Yeah. Mm. Today is just such a beautiful day. It's like a nice cool weather. It's like not like, you know, freezing cold, but it's not like hot either. Like we're starting to head into winter. It's like 16 degrees or something today. It's amazing. I just, I just feel like winter's coming in. I love summer, but winter is just like, I just love the smell. It's like, you know, the wood fires are burning in people's houses. You've got the cool breeze coming in. Like it's a beautiful day. The sun is out. Oh! Guys, I'm just I'm in a good place right now. It's lovely. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing just the one I look today. I thought I'd do the both. I'm going to prime my lids. Guys, you probably already know what I'm going to use. I'm not even going to bother saying it. I'll just let you guess. So I'm going to go in, prime my lids, and also conceal them. Like, it's not conceal them. <laughs> Carve out my brows, I mean. Oh, my head is just everywhere today. If you couldn't tell already. I'm feeling like this is going to be a chit-chat tutorial, so... Just gonna be real, just talk if talk through, I guess. I don't know, I just want to feeling like a bit of a chit chat today. I'm so excited, guys. It's like three weeks till me and my sister go away for our trip. Obviously, when you're watching this, we would have already you know, been away, but I'm so excited. So, the shadow's gonna be quite sharp on the edge. Well, that's what I intend, anyways. Hopefully, it will be. So, I'm bringing the um product like the eyeshadow primer all the way to like the edge of my eye just kind of buffing it down a little bit to make sure that's primed as well so lids are primed I'm going to move on with the initial like crease color so of course guys what else did I use I use my morphe 350 palette I'm actually going to use the Coralie shade as my transition today and also mix it a bit with that like transition color that I usually use just to help it diffuse into the skin. I always like to have like a brown like shade, just a couple like shades darker than my skin tone just to really help it melt into the brow bone and not have any harsh lines. Now I'm just kind of keeping that kind of outer edge like as sharp as I can. I'm going to probably use concealer to make sure it's really crisp but for now I'm just kind of mapping out the shape so I'm connecting it to the corner of my eye and going in the direction towards the tail of my brow and just buffing it out. I just use a little bit of product at the start just so I know what I want. Then once I have my two kind of shapes mapped out I'm going to go in with just the coral shade and just kind of deepen it up. Doesn't matter if it gets in the lid guys because it's just going to be like a smoky eye type look we're not going to cut it or like cut the crease or anything so you can just kind of be messy and I'm applying it like just a smidgen below where I applied the coral and the brown shade so that it diffuses into that then to kind of give it a bit more of a reddish tinge I'm going to take my love plus shade from sugar peel it's just a red like a crimson red I'm just going to whack this right below that coral shade and I'm first packing it on the outer corner of the eye and blending it through the crease. Sorry about the lighting changes guys, it's just the cloud, like it's a bit windy today like I said at the beginning which is nice but it just keeps pushing a few clouds in front of the sun so I feel like it's a bit of a blue undertone to this frame right now but it'll go back to normal lighting. So once I have packed on that red, I want to blend out the edges a bit. So I'm going to take that Coralie shade on that same soft crease brush and just buff out the edges. Right from inner to outer corner. Then taking on a petite crease brush, I'm going in and dipping into Bitten. And taking that through the outer corner and lower crease area, really deepening it up. I'm just taking it slightly out from my natural socket to continue that kind of almond shaped eye. I'm just going in with some of that coral shade to soften the edges a bit. 
And just taking some of that Love Plus shade as well, after I reapplied some of um, Bitten Down. just want to bring it back just a little bit. These colours are so pretty. Girl. I'm then going to take Curse and Call from Makeup Geek, which is this gorgeous cranberry like foiled eyeshadow. And I'm placing this all over the inner part of the lid, so like from the inner corner all the way to where those other red cranberry shades are. So I'm bringing it about like two thirds of the way across. I like that. Oh, oh that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh, I wish you guys could see like the gorgeous transition from that curtain core shade into the outer corners. Oh my god, I love the shade. And I'm just going back in with some of that sugar pill shade, the Love Plus one. To just kind of bring a bit more of the red in there. And I'll go back in with a bit of Bitten as well. Just on this outer corner to deepen it up a bit. And just help the transition. And then just some of that coral shade as well at the very, very edges to soften and diffuse any harsh lines. Just so that it's nice and soft and smoky. Okay, before we move on to anything else, I'm going to cut along the side edge of my eye, like just crisping it up so it's really nice, sharp and defined. If you had a piece of tape on during this time, then feel free to just remove that. I don't think I mentioned before, which I just realised now, you could have used a piece of tape to keep the line nice and defined if you wanted at the beginning, like apply it. Um, but if you do have your foundation on, it's probably not the best trick because it's going to remove your foundation. But if you're doing your eyes first, then a piece of tape will be your best friend. So I'm just going along, following the angle from the corner of my eye to the tail of my brow. And I'm just using foundation. You guys can use concealer if you want to. I just prefer to use the foundation. So for my tight line and waterline, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Espresso and place this on those places. And I'm just lightly dragging it underneath the outer corner bottom lash line. Just a little bit. Nothing too far down. On a pencil brush, I'm taking Bitten again, and I'm just going to buff out the brown eye coal. And just taper it in towards the inner corner. And I want it to kind of have like a little space here, so I'm just bringing it to the edge of my eye. Kind of giving that really dramatic cut look to the look. Then I'm just going in with my initial fluffy brush and that corally shade. I'm just going to buff out Bitten. Just like that. So before I move on to lashes and mascara, I'm just going to do the little kind of flourishes to the look. So I'm going to take for my inner corner my Dubious Place Deuce palette and grab Tarte and Puffs, mixing those two together. I'm going to place that on my very inner corner. And because I just want like a little bit of like a glitter kind of flourish thing I don't know what I want to call it I just feel like it'll really spruce up the look you could totally leave it like this but I wanted to make it a bit of extra something so of course I'm always using this I just love it so much it's the Revlon photo ready eye art um, glitter liner and I'm just going to place the topaz twinkle one on and yeah just do my thing so next I'm going to apply on some mascara and lashes to finish off the look so the lashes I went in with today are my Ardell Natural, I think they're the Demi Wispies or they're just the Natural Lashes, the 120 Demi ones. So finally is the Brow Bone Highlight. So I'm going to grab the Shimmer Shimmer Shadow from my like Z palette. I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. And then I just grab whatever's left on that initial brush we used, like those transition shades and I just soften the edges of that highlight so for the lips I think do I want to do like a red I don't know like I'm just not sure I think a pink glossy lip will look pretty because of the inner corner it's like pinky shimmer so I'm just gonna go in first of all with my pale plethora lip liquid lipstick and place that on then I'm taking my 3d effect um, lip gloss from Bonjuris Paris in the shade Rose Romantic and placing this over top. 
So this completes today's makeup look guys, or eyes, eyes and lips. I really hope you enjoyed it. This video has been pre-filmed, so if you want to follow me on my social medias while I'm away traveling, then I'll leave them linked here just for you. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please, please comment down below any ideas that you would like me to recreate or literally like DM me in Instagram or anything like that. I just would love to have like ideas of what you want to see next. Like, it could be like eye looks, like foundation, do you want me to try out? Like anything, any products you want me to try, any looks you want me to do, just let me know. Thanks, done. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day. Mwah. Bye.